A couple of years ago I moved into a duplex. I just graduated from college and got my first job. It was a pretty decent neighborhood. And I was looking forward to starting a new chapter of my life. After I moved in, I met my next door neighbor. Who lived on the other side of the duplex. He was a man named Rob and appeared to be in his 40s. He said he had been living there for 10 years, and he seemed like a pretty nice guy. Even helped me move a couple of my bigger furniture pieces into my house. The first couple of weeks went by really well. I like my job a lot, and I was enjoying the house as well. One day, however, after work, I got a painting to hang up on my wall. There was a random screw in the wall of my bedroom. And I wanted to cover it up. The screw is pretty hard to see. But I still wanted to cover it up because I'm a perfectionist. When I got home, I went into my bedroom. And positioned it against the wall to see what it would look like. But when I did, I got a closer look at the screw. I hadn't seen this before. But when I looked closer, it was actually a people. I looked through the people. I could barely see it. But I saw an eyeball looking back at me. I jumped back. The other side of my wall was my neighbor Rob. I ran and found some tape, and quickly covered up the hole. Then I heard a knock at my door. I looked out my window to see Rob. I didn't want to answer it, I was way too creeped out. Danny tried opening the door. After a couple tries, he went back inside. I immediately called the owner of the property and told them the situation. They allowed me to get out of my lease and move out. Which I did the very next day. I didn't see Rob the next day, and his car was gone. I'm glad, cause I never want to see him again. Last year we had a new neighbor move in next door. From the very first day he moved in, he gave me the creeps. He was in his 50s and looked kind of sloppy. He had a beard, gray hair, and more baggy clothes. He just seemed a little odd and wasn't very friendly. My parents and I talked to him the day he moved in. And he just seemed like he was in a bad mood. The first couple of months he lived there, I didn't see him go outside at all. Somebody would come over and mow his lawn for him, every week. I never even saw him getting the mail. I would occasionally just see his car leaving the house, or arriving. One night, I was up late playing video games in the living room. I thought I heard something outside our window. I looked out the window to see the bushes moving, and the back of someone walking away. I stood there just staring at the man as he walked away. I could see was our next door neighbor. I don't think he saw me because he never turned around. I moved to the other window to get a better look. And I could see that it was clearly our next door neighbor. He just walked back into his yard. I told my dad about it and he went outside to see. My dad came back about 10 minutes later. 
He said he asked our neighbor if he'd been in our yard. But he denied it, and got mad that my dad accused him of it. I know 100% that that was him. A few days later, when I was taking the garbage down to the street, I saw the man in his window just staring at me. He had a mad look on his face, and he didn't take his eyes off me the whole time. I don't know what this guy's problem is, but I don't feel comfortable living next to him. A few weeks ago, I went to drop my friend off at his house. I pulled over to the side of the road to let him out. His neighborhood was pretty quiet, because it was about midnight. Right as my friend was about to get out of my car, we noticed the car that was parked on the side of the road go into the neighbor's yard, and then into their backyard. We found this really odd, and my friend stayed in my car to see what would happen. We then saw lights turn on behind the house, and then a shadow on the house next to it appeared. We could see the shadow of the man, and it started making movements. After trying to figure out what he was doing, we decided that it looked like he was digging a hole in his yard. This was a pretty odd activity for midnight. And my friend and I were suddenly very interested into what was going on. After about 10 minutes, the activity stopped. And we saw somebody walk to the driveway. And into a car. And then back inside. I couldn't make out what they looked like, because it was so dark out. After about five minutes, somebody came to the end of the driveway, and looked directly at us, and then walked back inside. We were very confused by this whole situation. About another ten minutes went by. And somebody then came to the end of the driveway again and started staring at us. Then they started walking towards us. I put the car in reverse, backed up, turned around and drove out of there to my house. My friend slept at my place that night. The creepy part about this is the next day. When we went back, their house was completely vacant. And my friend hasn't seen anyone there since. I moved into a new house to live in this year. Because I was relocated from my job. The first couple of weeks were fine. But recently... I had some things go missing inside my house. And weird things too. Like food items or some of my clothes. It's been very confusing to me. Until a couple of days ago. When I was pulling into my driveway from work. And I saw the guy that lives next door in my backyard. When I pulled in. He walked back into his yard and didn't look at me. Sure, he could have been just retrieving something blew that. into his yard or whatever. But I just can't help but think they might be related. I know he was good friends with the previous owner of my house. So I feel like maybe he has a spare key or something. Then last night, when I was sleeping... I heard my front door open. I went to the edge of my door and looked to see if it was my next door neighbor. Sure enough, it was. I went out to confront him, 
But when I did, he turned and ran. I went to his house and knocked on the door. There was no answer. I went back in and called the police. When they arrived, I told them what had happened. But they couldn't find my neighbor anywhere. He disappeared and I haven't seen him since. He didn't take his car, because I didn't see him drive away. Nobody knows where he is.